and it's game on. And it's Friday. If you didn't know what day it was, I didn't until I looked at my calendar, which is driven by automatic software. Thank the Lord. Things you need today. First of all, it's an upper body push day. We're gonna work the gut. We're gonna try our best to keep the pecs buff during this crisis. It is a pec crisis, all right, act accordingly. Amber alert, delts, rear delts, front delts, triceps will get worked in the process. Uh, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun today, hopefully. Things you need, thanks to the brilliant mind of Josh. Pot, yes, and we all know everybody in California loves that pot. Sold out of most stores, but hopefully you have one already. Um, a handle is ideal, but if not, we're going to use the bottom. Um, a little bit of depth is good. I got about a half foot on this one, so I can fill it with a good amount of water. So try to find something like that. If you don't have something like this, go ahead and grab a bag with handles of any kind. I've got just the basic Whole Foods situation, reusable or a duffel bag or a backpack, anything with a little handle on it that you can grasp and fill it with some stuff. Maybe uh, shoes. Shoes are heavy-ish. Josh got pasta in his. Pasta's fine. You dig? If you don't have that pot, if you didn't get to the pot stores fast enough and it's sold out, grab something like this with a handle on it. Fill it with shoes or clothes. But we want a little bit of heft, not a ton. Uh, shoes are probably best, and we'll use that technique in the future. If you got the pot, fill it about halfway with water for starters, okay? Then you're going to want some other water receptacle nearby so you can fill it with more as we go if you need more weight. So I've got a couple of water bottles that I've refilled that I've uh, finished over the past day. Got those standing by so I can add more water. Maybe you're close to the sink. Andy Chin is in the house. What's popping, baby? Are you going to do this workout with us? Mate, you better. It's all about pecs. Please, please, Andy, please. There it is, my man, he's in. Okay, give it up. If you just tuned in, Andy, you need a pot. You're going to fill it half with water. You need some other water source nearby, okay? Maybe you fill like a, like a gardening pot situation so you can add more water to the pot. And most importantly, you will need a shot glass or something small that can also hold liquid. I have mine here, all right? And before we begin, I just want to say it is Friday. And according to Josh, we have some friends joining us in places of the world live right now. That is happy hour or beyond happy hour. So I encourage you to start this lovely workout with a fitness beverage of your choice. Uh, it's important to stay hydrated and get your electrolytes in. Um, so choose whatever it is that helps you do that. We'll just take an introductory situation going on, all right? I have my uh, fitness fluids happening. I'll give you all a moment to fill that up with your favorite health-inducing tonic. There we go, just got some bourbon. Uh, your choice, right? Health is what it means to you. Could be water, could be a little haterade, hopefully not. Anyway, cheers to the camera. Oh, wow, that is some pungent water. My God. Anyway, we're going to use this. Keep it nearby. Whatever you choose to fill it with today, we'll do it a couple times. Um, keep that nearby as well so we can do the refilling. I have a variety of liquids to choose from, depending on how the workout progresses and if I stay coherent. Anyway, 
And then a little bit of floor space. So I got my mat right here. You can use a, a rug. You can be on the carpet. Pop with the water. Shot glass. A little bit of extra water nearby to fill it. If you're by the sink, that's cool too. You just come up and fill it with extra sink water. Start seated like I am. And we shall begin in five. Fake flies, I'm pushing the palms together in the middle to get a good pec flex. And I want you to push hard enough to get a little burn happening, get a little exhaustion happening in the pecs. Mind you, shoulder blades need to stay as retracted as possible during this. If we start letting go of that, our push-ups that are about to follow are going to suffer. So shoulder blades back as we push in. I'm going to open up nice and wide as if I had a pair of dumbbells in my hands and I was on my back and I'm looking for the pec stretch. Notice how I'm a little bit above shoulder height. I'm not making an A. I'm making a T or a slight Y even. Bring it in with me. Get the pec flex and the squeeze with the shoulder blades back. And open up. Start breathing slow and full. Squeeze. It's great to inhale during the retraction. So we get a little more pec stretch out of the inhale, flex in the middle, open up, big old stretch, Woo! close it down, squeeze, open up, big pec stretch, close it down, squeeze in the middle, open up, pec stretch, bring it in, firm flex in the middle, make sure it feels like it's effort, push it, open up. Pec stretch, bring it in, squeeze, open up big, make the Y, further back than last rep, bring it in tight, squeeze together, open up, big old stretch, big inhale, stick the ribs out, squeeze in the middle, open up big, pec stretch, love it, come back in, squeeze the hands together, drive, open up, Big old stretch. Bring it in. We're going to do an extended squeeze this time. I'll give you 10 seconds. Nine. Push a little harder. Eight. Seven. Smash the palms against each other. Five. Four. Make it a little miserable. Two. And one, but keep your arms up. Now we're out to the sides. I'm going to make a firm fist. Nice flex with the fist. Open that up. Flip it. And make a fist here. From the side, I'm trying to stay in line with my body. Don't let it come forward too much. Right here. Open up the fist. Face the palm down. Make a good firm squeeze. And white knuckle this one. we got to flex hard enough again to get the forearms a little bit pumped. Open up. Switch. Palm to the sky. Make a fist tight. Keep the elbow straight the whole time. Open up. Palms down. Give me that flex. Squeeze. Open up. Flip it. Squeeze, oh yeah. Open up, flip down, make the tight fist. Open up, tight fist. Open up, chop it down, tight fist. Open up, flip it, tight fist. Keep the arms straight. Open up, flip it, tight fist. Open up, flip it, squeeze. Get some blood flow down the arms, open up. Flip, squeeze, a little work in the delts. Open up, flip it, squeeze. Open up, flip it, squeeze. Now we go back to the flies without ever dropping our arms down. Bring it into the center. Flex. Open it up. Big stretch. And try to stick with me. Don't drop your arms at all. Don't drop the height of the arms and keep them straight the whole time. The goal is to burn the delts out a little bit. Back in. Give me the flex in the middle, X. Open up, and you should feel the delts now. Bring it in, squeeze. Open up wide, big inhale. Show me the ribs. Back in, squeeze it. Open up big, stretch, and back in, squeeze. Open up big, big old stretch across the pecs, symmetric. Back in for the flex. 
Right now, the delt should begin a little tickle, a little burn. Back in. Good. Join me again. Make the T, this time a little higher. Make a fist, squeeze, open up, palm to the ceiling. Squeeze, open up, palms to the floor. And now you should start to feel the endurance of the delts, the top cap of the shoulders, right where the arm attaches to your torso. And repeat this open flip squeeze. And the burn is happening. Stick with me. Try your best to keep the arms shoulder height or above and keep them straight at the elbows. Whatever you want to do with the style of sitting is fine with me. I better not see any comments. That means your arms aren't up <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> we'll talk after. Flip it. But at home, can I get an amen out loud if you're feeling this shit the same way I am? It's for sure a burn. Open up, flip, squeeze. Open up. Flip, squeeze. There are more shots after this to reward ourselves with. Open up, flip, squeeze. Back to the flies. Come in. Give me the squeeze in the middle. Open up. Big old pack stretch. To the center. Smash. Open up. Inhale. Show me the ribs. Bring it back in. Squeeze the palms together. Open up and feel the delts starting to get that work. Woo! Bring it in. Squeeze them together, open up, big old pack stretch and inhale. Squeeze in the middle, flex. Stick with me. Don't drop those arms. It's quarantine time. What else are you going to do? Stay buff. Come on. Bring it in. Squeeze. Open up. Big stretch. Bring it back in. Squeeze. Show me the T. A little higher this time. Palms to the sky, make a fist, open it up, switch it, make a fist. Open it up, whoa, make a fist, open it up, drop, make a fist. Open, swap it, squeeze firmly, white knuckles. Open up, swap, squeeze. Open, swap it, squeeze. Open, swap it, squeeze. Open, swap, squeeze. Open, swap, squeeze. One more time on the flies. Bring it in. Squeeze the hands together. Open it wide. Enjoy that burn in the delts. Bring it in. Flex. Open up. Reach. Bring it in. Flex. Open up. Reach. Bring it in. Squeeze the packs isometric. Open up. Big old stretch. Bring it in. Tight squeeze, open up. Nice big stretch, bring it in. Squeeze it, open up. Stretch, again. Squeeze, open up. Stretch, again. Squeeze, open up. A little higher, make a fist. Open the hand, last time on this, palms down. Flex, open up, palms up. Flex and feel the new endurance getting built in your delts, open up. Drop down, squeeze. Open up, flip up, squeeze. Feel the work, flip it down, squeeze. Open up, flip it, squeeze firmly. Make a tight fist, make the forearms burn. Open up, flip, squeeze. Stay here, 20 seconds, and then we'll drop our arms, get ready for that next shot. 19, 18. 17, keep the fist firm, 16, 15, 14, don't let them drop, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, stick with me, 8, squeeze more, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, relax your arms, beautiful, if you hung on, solid, give me an amen in the comments, now that your arms are free, and you will prepare the next one, please, at your convenience, my friends, your fitness fluid of choice. This time, make it close to full. Make it a challenge to not spill. Oh, and I'm already spilling. Book. So be it. 
When, <laughs> Andy likes it. Cool. Bring the shot to your floor space. And I'm going to come back a little bit so I can show you what I'm doing. I've already got a little ass sweat on the floor. That means we're off to a good start. Amen. <laughs> Mike agrees. Okay. I'm going to show you the move, and then we're going to put it in with the shot. All right. This is our tabletop crunch. I want you to get acquainted before you bring the liquids into the picture. <sighs> tabletop. So that means arms straight and knees right underneath my hips. We're going to lift the left leg as I lift my right arm and make a big long line between my fingertips and that heel. And when you reach up, you should feel the soreness already built into our delts that we just created with that ridiculous 10 minute long isometric delt hold. Find the tabletop and practice a few reps per side before we turn it into something a little more dynamic. I want my left leg out, my right arm forward, reach as far as possible. Then I bring the elbow into the knee and I tap them together. I'm gonna reach out, elbow to knee, tap them together. Reach, tap them together. Try the other side, the other knee, the other arm. Make sure it's across the body. Now it's my, I forget which side I just did, so the right leg's gonna lift, the left arm is gonna lift. That feels about right. Tap the elbow to knee, reach, tap the elbow to knee, try a few of those. Good. Now let's bring a shot in. Hopefully it's still full. You didn't get too anxious and shut me down already. I got my glass right in front of me. It's filled with whatever I want it to be filled with. Reminder, it's Friday. Check it out. I'm going to pick it up with my right arm. And the goal is to prevent the spilling. You dig? Because we want to uh, chug down as much as possible at the end. So the left leg goes out. The right arm goes all the way straight. Look at the shot. Try not to spill. Your arm's going to shake because your delt was already made pre-exhausted. Bring it in. Tap the elbow to the knee. Here we go. I'm going to guide us through 18 of them. That's two. Bring it in. I'm spilling. Reach out for three. Back in. Spilling like crazy. Try to keep it stable. Four. Back in. Five. Back in. Reach out for six. Eyes on the prize. Back in. Reach out for seven. Try to prevent spilling. Back in. Reach out for eight. Back in. Reach for nine. Back in. Reach for 10. I'm all over the place. Back in. 11. Back in. 12. Focus. Back in. Prevent the spilling. 13. Back in. 14. Oh no. Back in. I'm losing it. 15. Get the arm straight. Back in. 16. Back in. Reach for 17. Straight arm, straight leg. Back in. Get the elbow to touch the knee. 17. Last one, 18. And <laughs> I hope you can see what happened here. <laughs> Miserable fail. Well, it's whiskey, so it'll that very quick. Other hand now. I'm going to put it in my left hand. My right leg is going to kick back. Let's get ready for 18. All fours. Take the glass up with the left hand. Bring the knee up. And let's extend. Reach for one. And back in. Tap the elbow to knee. Reach for two. Try to prevent the spillage. And back in. Already spilling. Reach for three. And back in. Elbow to knee. 
reach for four, stick with me, it's a long set, and back in. Reach five, then back in. Reach six, then back in. Reach seven, then back in. Eight, back in. Nine, back in. Ten, back in. Eleven, back in. Twelve, back in. Thirteen, back in. Fourteen, raise that glass, back in. Fifteen, return. Sixteen, return. Seventeen, we're back, spilling all over. Last one, eighteen, and back. And whatever's left, please enjoy it. <laughs> Once again, I never tasted such pungent water. Lord, what are they doing at the municipalities? <sighs> okay. I need to wipe up. I'm spilling like crazy. Hopefully you're not on a white carpet and use powering. Please. All right, let's move into our main work. Nicely done. Now we need our pot filled with half water. We need our comfortable floor space for push-ups and push-up variations. And we'll need to keep that extra water source nearby so that we can fill um, and increase the level each time. All right, so take a seat. The same way we sat for the warm-up. So probably some kind of cross-legged variation. You can sit on your knees if you'd like. You can do one of these or a variation of the figure four, whatever's comfortable. We want a nice upright torso. If it's your bag, you've got the bag handle. If it's the pot, you've got that pot handle. And let's all start with the right arm together. Let me show you the move, and then I'll talk us all through a set of 20. I'm straight armed and I'm very, very low. Notice I'm holding that handle as close as possible to the pot. All right, we don't want too much of a lever to handle with our wrists. So I'm holding real close to where the pot is. Just like a shot glass, fatigue will make us less stable. So focus on not spilling the water. And I forgot the disclaimer before about spilling the shot, but prepare the surface underneath just in case you do fail a little bit and let some of that water go. All right, so choose your location appropriately. I'm up nice and tall. This other hand is going to float in the sky. Don't put it on the ground. Don't hold it to anything. Don't brace yourself. Just float it out there. Lift that pot or that handle of the bag with shoes in it and come up to a little bit above shoulder height. Now come down, get as close to the floor as you can without tapping, and come back up. Join me. Down, up for three. Down, up for four, keep the elbow straight, down, up for five, down, up for six, try not to spill, down, up for seven, mine's not heavy yet, down, up for eight, down, but we will add water, up for nine, and volume, up for 10, down, we're going to 20, up for 11, down, up, for 12, down, up for 13, now I feel it, down, up, enough volume, 15, down, up, 16, down, up, 17, down, up, 18, down, up, 19, down, up, hold it for 10 seconds at the top with me, hold it, 10, 9, Eight, and if it's not burning now, seven, you gotta add a lot more water. Six, five, or a lot more shoes. Three, 
two, and drop it. Awesome. Other arm right away. Let's just match it up. Don't change anything yet. Same process. So the free hand is up. Again, from the side, we're trying to stay in line. Don't do front raises. It's a different head of the delts. We want to be right on the side. All right. So try and stay in line. I'll do the same. Big chest, shoulders back, a little bit of a shrug. Nice tight belly so we don't wobble left and right. The other hand is free, not bracing anywhere. Shall we? Pick it up. And down. Get close to the floor without tapping. Up for two. And down. Up for three, a little bit above shoulder height. And down. Up for four. And down. Up five. Down. Up six. Down. Up seven, if you've got the bag down, it's a smaller range of motion. Up eight, but it still works. Down. Up nine, stick with our pace. Down. Up ten, down. Another ten. Up eleven, down. Up twelve, down. Up thirteen, down. Up fourteen, down. Did I change the counting? Who knows? 16, down. If you know me, you know I suck at counting. Up 17, down. Up 18, down. Up 19, down. Last one, up 20, down. And drop. Oh. And as I want to rush to finish it, I'm getting a little less stable. <sighs> Immediately after this pop work, we're going to move into push-ups. So get yourself ready. Hopefully you've done uh, session eight with us. We very, very carefully detail the push-up form. If you haven't, I'll give you a quick one right now. The shoulder blades stay back. If you can see from directly behind me, the shoulder blades pinch together, and we do the push-up from there. We cannot allow this to happen. So maintain the shoulder blade retraction behind you. Right. We're going to do a nice slow set of seven of the paused version. All right. So let me show you the paused version once more, and then we'll do it together. I'm here. Squeeze. I'm going low. Dead weight. Lift just enough to have air space underneath my pecs and I hold. And then I push up the rest of the way. Drop down. Pause. A little air space and finish. And if it's too heavy, you're going to go from the knees. And if that's too heavy, you're going to go from the knees and have a little elevated surface in front of you, like a chair, or you can do this on the back of your couch, right? Everybody get ready for seven double pauses. Follow my lead with the audio. Come on up, find your plank. Now all the way down to the floor slowly. Now up just enough for airspace under the pecs and hold. And then finish the push. All the way down, dead weight. Plop your body on the ground. Now lift a little bit for air space and push up. All the way down. Air space, push up. All the way down. Air space, push up. Three more, all the way down. Air space, push up. Two more, all the way down. Air space, Push up. Last one, all the way down slow. Airspace. Push up. Good. Bring that pop nearby. We're going to use the weight of the pop for a superman hold. Watch me first, and then you can join along. I drop my body down. I get comfortable. I arrange myself. I'm going to lift my knees off the floor. And then now with the bottom edge of the pop, I'm cradling this weight and I lift my elbows off the floor with straight arms. Watch here. Okay? We're gonna hold for 30 seconds together. Starting in five, four, three, two, pick it up. Knees are off the ground, elbows are off the ground. I feel my rear delts. I feel my upper back, my lower back, my glutes, the back of the neck. 15 more seconds. 
10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it. Right away, we move into regular push-ups. These are not the pause version. These are chest taps. Down, up, down, up, down, up. We'll keep them a little slower than the normal so we get good eccentric loading. Follow me, we're gonna do 11 this time. Up to the top of the plank, knees or regular, and here we go. Down, tap up. Down, tap up, slow. Down, tap up. Down, tap up. Five, tap up. Six, tap up. Seven, tap up. Eight, tap up. Nine, tap up. 10, tap up. 11, tap up. Beautiful. If you need more water in that pot, go ahead and add it now. I'm gonna do some myself. I've got these refills from yesterday. I'm dumping it in. Woo, the whole thing, might as well. Each round, if we go heavier, we're gonna do fewer and fewer reps, all right? So don't be scared of the 20. Get ready. This time we'll start on the left arm. Ooh, that's a lot of extra weight. I'll give you a moment to add that water. It's gonna be the same one from here to there, here to there. Get ready and start with the left arm together. Grab right close to the handle, or if you've got the bag, you're here and you're gonna do those mini lifts with us with our timing. And three, two, one. Lift, shoulder height, down, close to tap. Lift, shoulder height, down, close to the floor. Lift, shoulder height, down, don't spill. Here's four, shoulder height, down, don't spill. Lift, shoulder height, down, don't spill. Lift, shoulder height, down, don't spill. Here's seven, shoulder height, down, don't spill. Eight, shoulder height, down, don't spill. Nine, shoulder height, down, close. 10, shoulder height, down, close to the floor. 11, shoulder height, going to 15, down, close. 12, up, down, close. 13, up, down, don't spill. 14, up, down, close to a tap. Last one, 15, up, and down. Wow. If you've chosen the appropriate amount of water, that one's cooking. Big time. Get the other arm ready, the right arm now. Nice and tall. Free the free hand. Grab as close to the actual pot as possible on the handle. Pick it up. Up, hold, down, close to taps. Two, hold, down, tap. Up, hold, down, tap. Up, hold, down, tap. Up, hold, down, close to the floor. Up, hold, down, close to the floor. Up, hold, down, close to the floor. Up, hold, down, close to the floor, halfway. Up, nine, down, close to the floor. Up, 10, down with a slow tempo. Up, 11, down, close. Up, 12, down, hover. Up, 13, down, hover. Up, 14, down, hover. Up, 15, down, relax it. All right, you know what's next? We got our push-ups. Seven of them with the pause. Down, dead weight, mini airspace, and push. See you in the position. Get ready, and descend. 
dead weight, a little airspace, and up. Two, dead weight, airspace, up. Three, dead weight, airspace, up. Four, airspace, dead weight, up. Five, airspace, dead weight, up. Six, airspace, up. Seven, dead weight, airspace, up. Bring that pot, we've got our Superman with the new heavy weight, 30 seconds worth. Get yourself a range, we're starting in five, four, three, two, lift it. Get the arms as straight as possible, as far away from you as possible. The knees are off the ground, the elbows are off the ground, and the pot is floating. Halfway. Straighten those arms. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and drop. Right away into 11 regular tap and go push ups. See you in the plank in three, two, one. Here we go. Down, tap up. Two, tap up. Three, tap up. Four, tap up. Five, tap up. Six, tap up. Seven, tap up. Eight, tap up. Nine, tap up. 10, tap up. Last one, 11, tap up. Good, shake it out. Now we're down to 10 reps with the pot. Do you want to add water? You can, you don't have to. I'm gonna do a little, maybe a quarter of this, because why the fuck not? Is that enough? Mmm. Okay. I can handle that. This time, 10 per side of those delt pulls, or reps in this case. 10 of these. Again, make sure we stay aligned with the body. We don't go to front raises. We have more strength in the front raises. So keep it out to the side. We should be feeling this middle strip of the delt, the stuff that gives us nice width when it gets developed. Starting with the right arm this time. Mine's getting pretty full. I'll try my best not to spill. Now, this is gonna be different for everybody. Obviously, we all have different strengths, different arm lengths. The pot you're choosing is a little different. Yeah, <sighs> not seeing. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. She said I get more evil every day. Hey, we gotta do something with this, right? We gotta get more creative and inventive with every session. Otherwise, why are we doing this? Just like we're trying to be progressive with every rep, with every set, with every second of a stretch. I'm trying to be progressive with the creation of these workouts and the way we present them. Hopefully it's been fun. Um, Josh and I were talking too this morning and I was also talking with Andy, getting equipment into people's homes who are watching, especially you members. Um, and at this point, Amazon is just constantly changing and flooded with things being sold out and so on and so forth. Unreliable shipping. So we'll continue to do our best just using household objects. I realize not everybody has everything I'm calling upon. I had some people who talked to me yesterday. I don't have cushions, I don't have pillows to stack up. I apologize. I, depending on you to be a little bit creative, with the way you set up these things. Um, and if you ever run into a situation where you're like, ah, I don't have this stuff, it's not working for me, screw it. Turn this one off, go to any of the previous ones we have filmed, because while they do broadcast live right now, they stay up forever. So please feel free, fish through the previous ones. I put my heart and soul into every single one. So there's some quality in there for you. There's something in there for you with your setup. Continue with the pot. Right arm is starting, 10 reps in three, Two, pick it up. And if it's not very heavy for you, go 
go super controlled and try to keep the water from rippling inside the pot. Here's two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. And stick with my pace. Slow is good. Slow is difficult. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. And ten. Hold it. Come back to the top. Keep that arm straight. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh, close to spilling for sure. Other arm, the left. If it's not heavy for you, go slow and controlled. Prevent the water from rippling. If you've got that bag, maybe put a couple more shoes in it. Do the small reps. Here we go. Left arm, lift to the top. And down. Up, top, down. Other hand is free. Three, top, down. Four, reach away from the body. Top, down. Five, top, down. Good. Six, top, down. Beautiful. Seven, top, down. Almost there. Eight, top, down. Don't forget about the hold at the end. Nine, top, down. Last one with the hold. Come on up. Hold it. Ten seconds for me. Last five, four, three, two, and down. Good. You know what's next. Seven push-ups with the pause. And you better be slow and control on the way down. That's how we make the best out of this situation. We're going to get buffered from the quarantine if you keep following these. And if you keep doing them precisely and using your imagination where it's necessary. See so you at the top of the plank. And begin. Drop. Dead weight. Airspace. Push. Drop. Dead weight. Airspace. Push. Three, dead weight, airspace, push. Four, drop, airspace, push. Five, drop, airspace, push. Six, drop, airspace, push. Seven, drop, airspace, push. Good. And you know what's next. We're moving to that Superman with the hold, with the pop hold. I got my 30 second timer ready on my little baby gavel watch. Get yourself arranged, bring the pop close by, realize it's heavier and also closer to spilling. So let's be ultra precise. Starting in five, four, you're gonna keep the arms as straight as possible. Three, two, pick it up. Reach out, knees off, elbows off, the pot is floating. Fifteen seconds, reach further away, get a little high if it's easy for you. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, drop. Beautiful. Good. Going heavier still. This time we have eight reps on the delts. And it goes on and on and on. I'm gonna grab some more water. Boy. See what we can do. And perhaps at this point you've surprised yourself. Maybe you need to go grab a new pot if you have that resource. Go ahead, grab it now. I'll give you 30 seconds. Ah, fuck it, I'm going all in. It's gonna get crazy. 
starting with the left arm this time. Take your seat. Maybe I'll switch the cross legged. That's another weird one, by the way. I'm always used to sitting the same. If you swap it, you'll be surprised how awkward it feels. Quarantine thoughts. Here we go. Left arm first. Oh, this one's going to be tough. I can feel the extra inertia. Whew. Starting in three, we're doing eight reps. Two with a hold at the end. And lift. Woo! Drop. Low. Two. Shoulder height. Drop. Low. Three. Shoulder height. Drop. Low. Four. Shoulder height. Drop. Low. Five. Shoulder height. Drop. Low. Six. Shoulder height. Drop. Low. Seven. Shoulder height. Drop. Low. Last one's a hold. Pick it up and hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Hang on. 6, 5. Make the water still. 3, 2. Drop it. All delts, baby. Oh, yeah. You know I love my delt work. If you don't, you know now. Everybody, you can thank Josh for this terrible idea of the heavy pot. Next time you see him in person, which is soon, hopefully, you can curse him out. Right arm. And here we go. Three, two, pick it up. Shoulder height, drop, low. Up. Shoulder height, drop, low. Up. Shoulder height, drop, low. Four. Shoulder height, drop, low. Five. Shoulder height, drop, control. Six. Shoulder height, drop, control. Seven. Shoulder height, drop, control. Last one. Eight. Hold it. Keep it up now. Another five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Immediately, we have seven pause push-ups, the same way we've been doing them. Make sure you control all the way down to the dead weight. We shouldn't see any get close and flop. Don't let it go. Let the floor surprise you. Continue controlling until your chest or your belly taps the ground from the dead weight. And on the little mini pause, try to make it as small as possible. Just barely lifting off the ground. Here we go. Stack it up. In three, two, here we go. Drop, dead weight. Airspace, go. Drop, dead weight. Airspace, up. Drop, dead weight. Airspace, up. Drop, dead weight. Airspace, up. Three more. Drop, dead weight. Airspace control, up. Two to go. Drop, dead weight. Airspace, up. Last one. Drop, dead weight. Airspace and hold low, hold, hold, hold. And up. Good. Get ready for that Superman. Bring the pot to the front of your mat. It's heavier than it's been ever so far. Get ready for 30 seconds. On your belly. Get situated. <sighs> Starting in five, four, three, two, pick it up. Twenty seconds. Reach away further. Further away. Higher up. Knees off the ground. Elbows off the ground. Fifteen seconds. Get that pot away from you. Reach. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Drop. Good. Immediately, 11 tap and go push ups, the basic push ups. However, we're going to control it nice and slow. Follow my tempo out loud. 
11 reps. See you at the top. In three, two, begin. Lower, tap, up. Lower, tap, up. Three, tap, up. Four, slow is good. Tap, up. Five, tap, up. Six, tap, up. Seven, tap, up. Eight, tap, up. Nine, tap, up. Ten, tap, up. Last one, eleven, tap, up. Good. Oh, excellent. Now we're going down to six reps on the pot with the hold. I hope you got more liquid. I'm going in. Try to join me. Got about an inch left in the pot. Hopefully you're with me still. Okay, we ready for it? Got some new weight in the pot. Starting with the right arm this time. Nasty. There's quite a wobble now too. Like if I screw it up at all, I'm spilling. This will be a good challenge. Hopefully you get the same thing going on. Again, if it's too light, just try to make it perfect and smooth and no quaking. If it's heavy like mine, good luck. If you got the shoes in the bag, keep it perfectly controlled. Don't go any faster than what we're going. Right arm starts, six repetitions, nice and tall. Starting in three, two, go. Lift, top, drop, close to the ground. Lift, top, lower, hover. Three. Top, lower, hover. Four, top, lower, slow, hover. Five, top, lower, hover. Last one, there's gonna be a hold up, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop, beautiful. Other arm, which is the left, should be. <sighs> Same thing, six with a hold on the sixth. Nice and tall. Three, two, up. Top, lower, hover. Up. Top, lower, hover. Up. Top, lower, hover. Up. Top, lower, hover. Five, top, lower, hover. Six, hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop. Beautiful. Get ready for seven paused push ups. Get in position. Follow my tempo from the knees or from the full push-up. Either way, it's going to be great work, especially with this slow pace control. See you in plank. Come on up. And we start in three, two, drop. Dead weight. Airspace, push. Drop. Dead weight. Airspace, push. Drop. Dead weight, airspace, push, drop, dead weight, airspace, hold it, and push, drop, dead weight, airspace, push, two more, drop, dead weight, airspace, push, last one, drop, dead weight, airspace, up, good. Get ready for the Superman with the heaviest pot yet. 
Make sure we reach out far, starting in five, four, three, two, time on, go. Get that pot way far away. Elbows up, knees up. 20 seconds. Ten seconds, hang in. Five, reach out, reach out, reach out, further away. And relax. You made it. Immediately into 11 tap and go push-ups. This will be our last set of push-ups. So make these super quality. I'm going to count a little bit slower than last time. See you in the plank in three, two, begin. Lower, tap, top. Lower, tap, top. Lower, tap, top. Lower, tap, top. Five, tap, top. Six, tap, top. Seven, keep it slow, tap, top. Eight, tap, top, nine, tap, top, two more, ten, tap, top, last one, eleven, tap, top, and drop. Perfect. Push ups are done, delt raises are done. We have one final challenge to burn the shoulders out. I'm gonna sit, I'm going back to that pot. Nice and full. This one, as with anything else we do, at your own risk. Watch me for a few. I'll always give you a look before we start together so you can determine whether this one is appropriate and safe. I don't want you dropping this on your face. Dropping water is no big deal. I don't know anybody with a water allergy. Uh, but we don't want to drop the Duke metal pot on our heads. Okay, so let me show you a couple. You'll make the decision if you want to follow along. If not, just do it with your empty hands. This motion will be tough enough after all the exhaustion. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to cradle it like so, kind of like a goblet. Like I'm ready to take a sip. Please, sir, some more. It's terrible, terrible Oliver Twist accent. I'm coming all the way up, straighten the elbows. Not this. Straighten those damn elbows. All right, we got a light weight. We have to squeeze out all the form stuff to make it a challenge, all right? We're stuck with no heavy dumbbells, so we got to do every little thing perfectly or close, close to maxing it out form-wise to make it a challenge. I'll show you a few more. Straighten the elbows. Back down to Oliver Twist height. All right. I'm going to count out loud. When I say the number, that means I'm up at the top, so it'll look and sound like this. One, drink. Two, drink. All right. We're going to see how high we can go. I have the number 30 in my head. Anybody object? Well, you can't object because you got the pot in your hands. You can't get to the keyboard. So you're stuck with me for 30 of these motherfucking reps. Hopefully you're good for it. If you're shaking so violently you can't handle anymore, please put it down. Failure with this means a big metal pot in the face. So please stop early if you're unable to keep going. Go ahead. This is the end of the workout, so let's push it. Cradle that weight. Try not to spill. If you need to stop any moment, please stop. Starting in three, two, go up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, don't spill, down, up, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, 
down. Thanks for sticking with me this far. Nine, down. 10, I love sharing the pop. Down. 11, down. I'm feeling the front delts. 12, stick with me. Down. 13, down. 14, get below the shin. Halfway, down. 16, down. 17, building new endurance. 18, down. 20, getting better with the quarantine. 21, pushing ourselves, down. 22, trying something new every day, down. 23, going beyond the comfort zone, down. 24, let's push it, down. 25, get the straight arms down. 26, down. 27, almost there, down. 28, down. 29, down. We're going to hold up number 30. Hold it right there, straight elbows. Embrace what we've done. Maybe it was super difficult because you got the perfect pop for yourself. Maybe it wasn't too challenging and the push-ups were the biggest challenge. Either way, we got great work and you made it through the hour. Let's relax. Take a sip from that pot because you just blessed the hell out of this water. Oh, delicious. If you'd like to join me for one last fitness fluid, please do. Enjoy the Friday. We did some real hard work, some monotonous, hard, focus requiring work. Cheers to your self motivation. <laughs> I'm doing what I can to supplement it with some good content. Have a blessed day. <sighs> Delicious. Tomorrow is hit. Get ready to sweat. Sunday, we're back to nice, long, static hold stretches in a meditative fashion. <laughs> the Nomad Potluck, yes. Just straight up booze. Everybody brings some. I mean, uh, water. Yeah, it was water the whole time. All right. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for joining. That was super fun. We definitely got our push-ups in. We shared a little pot. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. And enjoy the soreness. See you tomorrow for the hit. 1 p.m. Brah!